Right, so here it is. Um, I'm going to attempt now to use an image um, inside an article. As you can see, we are already and still signed in to the Adobe Bowls Club um, website. So um, let's create a new article. Now, this is uh, already familiar to you, I'm quite sure. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to just um, call it practice article. Um, and of course, no, so there's a one, so let's make it two, practice article two. So um, the alias, I'm not going to fill in. You can see auto-generate from the title, so the system will do it all automatically. Right, so let us find some th a little bit of text to put in here. I'm just going to call up uh, maybe just this. Um, let's go up, see what we can find. Um, papers. Right. Uh. Right, this is just some text, which is totally meaningless, but um, most web people use it to do articles with. So I copied that. It's on my clipboard. So if I press Ctrl V, there you go. There's some text um, in our article now. Now, of course, we can go on and select the whole lot and just format it a bit nicely. We go down and we format it in a diff. We'll pick the Badana font. We go down to 16. And there you go, we've got some text there. Uh, we've got everything we really need uh, to make the, the article. I leave it uncategorized. Of course, you can pick the category. This is whenever you do news, you put it in there. Whenever you do reports, you put it in there. I'm just going to leave it uncategorized because I don't want it to show on the front um, end of any of the pages on the website. So really, so what do we do? Let us say we want to insert an image there. I'm just going to press enter once and we're going to insert the image there. First thing I need to do is I need to click on that little button. It says, it tells you that uh, this is the button to deal with images. So I click on it. Uh, you will find that this pops up. Now, to find the image, I need to browse the server. The server mean the server where the website um, is hosted. Um, and you will see that this is um, what we have there at the moment. So um, any pictures that we put up there, uh, we can, of course, put into um, folders as we want to or we can just simply leave it in there as you can see some of these pictures is what is already used on the website as you can see how they pop up so uh, for the sake of this um, let me think um, of course zoom gallery that's where the stuff goes into the gallery so we're not going to put stuff there i'm just going to put it where we are at the moment in this directory okay so the file that we are after is, of course, not here yet. So what we need to do is we click on Choose Files. It pops up um, with the um, your local PC uh, file structure there. This is the picture that we've used in the gallery. We're going to use it inside this um, article as well. So I'm just going to click on that. Click on open. You can see there it is there and then send to the server. 
and it is now uploaded it to to the website and you can see if we scroll down a little bit there's our little picture so if i click on that now it puts it into this uh, little box box that came up first be before we clicked on a browser and we can simply click on OK and it puts the picture inside the article as you can see and there you can see that's the start for the article we remember we we decided we wanted to um, put the picture in before that point but now you can see that the picture does not really fit in very nicely with um, with the text. There's this gap there, etc. Okay, so we're going to play with this for a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a big maximize our editing screen there for a bit. There you go. So we can see a bit better. Now. If we decide that this picture is a little bit too big for this article, we can of course uh, do uh, make it a bit smaller if we want. So let's do that for, to start with. If we click with the right hand mouse button on this picture, you go to image properties and that previous um, little screen pop up again uh, that we have seen before. You will see that there is where you can change the width and the height of the picture. If you look carefully, you will see that the width is 800 and the height is 532. A little bit faint, but uh, you can see that. Next to it, you can see that we have got a little lock. Okay, this is to unlock the ratio or lock the ratio. You can see the lock is closed now, which means that if I change the 800, let's say to 500 it will automatically calculate the height so it keeps the the ratio right okay so uh, let's okay that aha uh -huh. and it's made the picture a little bit smaller you can see previously it used to be that size it is now this size okay so that's how you can resize the picture there or you can give it 800 if you want to. You can probably make it even bigger, but when you make it bigger, it'll it'll um, um, make the picture or the the image sort of um, out of focus, pixelize it a little bit. Right. Still, if we look at this whole article, we would really like this text to wrap around the image. So we can simply do that again by clicking right hand mouse button on the image again, go back to image properties and have a look at the alignment setting. The alignment setting, you've got a choice of left aligned or right aligned. So if we choose this for the fun of it, let's choose right aligned for it and I click OK, you will see that it puts the picture on the right hand side of the page and now this text goes next to the picture and not only just under the picture. This is what you do to wrap the text around the picture. Just to illustrate it further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that text, copy it, and I'm going to add more text, uh, Control V. Uh, it copied that thing as well, so I'm just going to uh, the image. Can you now see how it wraps around the image? Let's just go back into the image. Clicking right hand mouse button, go to image properties. Let's put that to the left. And you can see there it puts it to the left. Okay, so this is how to put the image in there and you can make it smaller and bigger. But there's one little other thing that is quite neat that we need to do. Uh, you will you will notice that the text are really very very close to the picture, and it doesn't look nice. So there's one other thing that I normally do is so I click right hand mouse button again, go to the image properties, then 
put in a bit of horizontal and vertical space around the picture. So if I put in 10 pixels there, did you see how the picture moved? And I put in 10 pictures there and it moved down. So it just shows you that it creates a bit of uh, white space around the picture. Click on OK and you can immediately see that there's a little bit of space there, there's a little bit of space there and a little bit of space there, which makes it look much better. Of course, you can, going back in there again, you can make that 20 if you want, um, which really gives you quite a lot of space and it looks quite neat. So 20 is not bad for this, I don't think. Right, so if I click on that little button again to go back to the normal editing size, which is, by the way, almost the size of, of the web page, uh, this is more or less what your article will look like when you now publish it. Um, as you can see, I wonder, I'm not sure if you can put a caption on, on that picture. Let's have a look. Uh, can we put a caption there? Um, alternative text, let's see, is this, um, very, very difficult to see that, a caption, not sure, never played with that really, uh, caption, it seems to need an N, um, okay. No, that didn't seem to, to make any difference to, to what we have there. So not sure what the alternative text is used for. So I'm going to skip that. Um, you will also notice that there are other um, sort of tabs as well that you can go into. Uh, if you had a link, if you would click on the picture, where would it take you to, for instance? I'm not going to do anything there, of course. Um, you can go to advanced um, and I wouldn't do it. I've never done anything here. This is very complex stuff. So it's just the style of it uh, that you would need to change. So I wouldn't worry about that. Um, back to the image info. Yes, I think uh, basically that is all you can do with this. You can't put in a caption, it seems, so uh, which is a bit unfortunate. But there you are. This would be the way that you put a picture inside um, your articles. You can, of course, put the picture anywhere. Um, if you want to take that picture, I'm not sure that you can move it now. But if you want to take that picture and move it there, for instance, uh, yeah, it did move. So I just dragged and dropped it and moved it to a different position. If I take the picture and I, let's say, oh, where shall I drop it? Drop it there. You can see again. So you can move your picture around by using drag and drop if you want. Okay, so always when you do a new article, never forget to choose a category to put it under. I'm not going to choose a category because I don't want this to show anywhere. And always um, make sure that you choose whether you want to publish it or not publish it. Uh, you can also, of course, decide when you want to stop publishing it, which means the system will uh, automatically remove the article from view. Um, if you choose a date, let's say uh, uh, stop publishing on, on the 30th of April, um, you can of course decide whether the public can see this or not. Um, if you look at that, you can go to all kinds of different levels. And that's basically it um, for this video. I hope this uh, will give you um, a way of being able to put the images within the articles. Any questions? Uh, don't hesitate to ask me.